This is my IT models. So we have transaction processing systems, which is a system that provides support to the operations of the organizations, such as sales orders, production orders, accounting data that's input into these systems daily. The data is used to provide information to other employees in the organization. The focus in these systems is capturing data and then using that data to run operations of the organization. Uh, management information systems provides uh, tactical and strategic dis support for tactical and strategic decisions. The information that the system provides won't affect operations in the short term, but form the basis for long term decisions with a broader, wider implications for systems. Um, data warehouse. Um, in organizations with large transactional data sets, an entirely new data set is often created in preparation for the management information system. It's common to refer to that intermediary data set as data warehouse. Um, we refer to it as incoming transaction processing systems as source systems in that they provide the source data for the data warehouse. Um, so this is a transaction processing system. This is a transaction processing system to management information system um, separated from transaction processing system. And then this is the all three of them with the data warehouse. Uh, disaster recovery plan. Um, and sh the purpose of this is to ensure safety of all of the employees and visitors at the site and facility, protect vital information records, secure business sites and facilities, safeguard and make available vital materials, supplies, equipment to ensure the safety and recovery of records from predictable disasters, uh, reduce risk of disasters caused by human error, deliberate destruction, um, building or equipment failure, be better prepared to recover from a major natural catastrophe, ensure the organization's ability to continue op operating after a disaster, recover, lost or damage records or information after disaster. Um, <clears throat> the plan should identify and adequately protect the department's vital records, reduce the risk of disasters caused by human error, um, ensure the department's ability to effectively Resume operation after a disaster by spelling out management policies, procedures, and resources to be activated in disaster situations. Uh, key personnel, starting with management team. Um, the management team lays down the essential foundation of the maintenance program, which predetermines the endeavor's overall success or failure. Uh, the management team works under a senior manager, but application owners act as a key delegate of management for the disaster recovery plan at the application level. The second team, um, the disaster recovery team, uh, is the team of people in a disaster recovery maintenance program in is the disaster recovery team itself. It consists of a program manager and coordinators. Um, the program manager owns and directs the day-to-day -day activities of the disaster recovery plan update process. Um, they typically work under leadership of senior management. Uh, the coordinators put together the building blocks of the disaster recovery plan along with composing a big picture of the plan. 
uh, technical staff is the third group of people in the maintenance program and the technical staff takes on a variety of roles to keep the disaster recovery plan up to date. Um, the members include a technical process owner, development leaders, and support staff. At the most basic level, these team members manage the daily operation of various applications. They maintain the task lists and scripts for routine system operations at a uh, higher planning levels. This group performs database administration and release management. Here is a cold recovery and a warm recovery and risk man, uh, risk assessment. Um, fire, I gave it a three. I mean, uh, there's So if any of these were to happen, you want to assemble a team of experts, such as the team we just discussed, identify a data forensics team, consult with legal counsel, secure physical areas, stop additional data loss, remove improperly posted information from the website and other websites, um, and interview people who discovered a breach, um, do not destroy evidence, um, risk assessment, continuing, um, things that could trigger a disaster could be um, weather, a weather related disaster, so anything, tornadoes, flash flooding, um, lightning, snowstorms, pretty much any kind of weather that isn't a uh, calm day. Um, the environment, dry weather can cause uh, fires. Um, weak credentials such as passwords, uh, weak passwords, um, things such as application vulnerabilities, malware, social engineering, um, such as a hacker, um, why go to, through the hassle of creating your own access point to exploit when you can persuade others who are more legitimate claim to the much sought after data? Um, too many permissions. Overly complex access permissions are a gift to hackers. Businesses that don't keep a tight rein on who has access to what within their organization um, are more likely to have given the wrong permissions to the wrong people. Um, inside threats, uh, it's hard sometimes to do background checks and people can pass, but some people just aren't good people and are going to fail you. Um, physical attacks, um, is the building safe and secure? Sometimes, uh, what looks safe and secure, down, deep down inside, something might be wrong within the building. Improper configuration, such as user error, uh, mistakes happen, errors are made, human errors happen every day. Unfortunately, they can lead to a disaster. And references.